Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is remove k digits. So the problem goes like this, that you're given a string representing a non-negative integer, as you can see here, nums and an integer k. You have to remove the smallest, like you have to remove and find out the smallest possible integer after removing k digits from nums. So you have to remove some digits from num and you have to find out the smallest possible digit you can form after removing k digits from num. How you can do that? Always in such a problem, always try to take some examples and try to find out some strategies and then you will try to solve it. Let's take this as an example only. Okay. So we have the digits, let's say 1, 4, 3, 3, sorry, 3, 2, 2, 1, 9. Okay. So what are the possible things to make it a small number is to remove the largest digit. Let's say if I remove the largest digit, the number will become like this 1, 4, like this is like remove the last one, that is 9. So it will become like this. So 1, 4, 3, Two to one. But let's say if I move this four, this four, it will become one, three, two, two, one, nine. Which one is smaller? This one, obviously. So which means that removing larger is not always the gooder, like always the best option. This one is a smaller number than this number. So to move to the next state from a particular number to the next number, it is not always good to remove the largest uh, digit. How can you do that next thing then? How we can find out? What you can see here is that removing four is a good option. Why? Because it is in a higher precedence. Like this is a higher number than the previous number. Okay. If I remove this, then obviously this will make it a smaller number because this is a larger number than the previous number. From left to right, if a given number is large, if a given digit is larger than the previous digit, removing that will make it obviously a smaller number. So that is a very good thing. One of the good observations that we have found out is that uh, from left to right, if a given digit is of larger precedence or bigger value than the previous digit, then removing that will obviously decrease the comment, uh, like current uh, number value. Okay. Now, if let's say I have an increasing digits, like one, two, three, four, five, which one removing is better. If I remove two, then this will obviously become a bigger number one, three. Oh yeah. But if I remove five, it has become smaller. Okay. Because love one, two, three, four. Okay, so so let's say obviously it, always just compare to two numbers one, three, four, five. If I remove any, like let's say two, and if I remove five, it become one, three, sorry, one, two, three, four. Which one is smaller? This one. So which means that if it is increasing, remove the large, like the larger one. If it is decreasing, remove the starting one. So we are starting to get some pattern. It's obviously that the only thing that depends is now at the precedence. Which one is larger? Like the larger one depends. Like it, as you can see, that is like increasing, that is fine. Like that it, it like this one is greater than that is fine. Removing the one that is the most greater gives the good good. So as you can see, if it is increasing, the maximum that, that we can remove is good. So what we can do is that we have to somehow compare the next, like the current number with the next number. And if I remove the digit, let's say if I remove the digits, then all the digits have to shift one space to the left hand side. So the new number will become like this, as I have told you. Uh, one, three, two, nine, two, two, one, nine. So now again, this number has a bigger precedence than this number. So which means that I have to shift and all of that have to be done in the same number, but removing and shifting all of that will take a lot of time. And we don't have uh, to do this in a complete string data structure. So a better data structure for this is a stack. You can assume this as a stack. Let's say I have numbers like this one, four, three, two, two, and so on. If I remove any digit, then all the numbers like fall back onto the, uh, lower digits and thus that is how a stack can form because if I remove some digit, it will fall back to here. So you can just assume that this is a stack like this, a slanted stack. Uh, okay. Uh, so a uh, horizontal stack like this. So if I move in, uh, uh, in that, uh, like you can see a digit from the something, we cannot remove like this, but still like if I remove something, it like it will fall onto this. I'm just giving you an example. So that is how stack can be used. I hope you understand how we can come to a conclusion of stack. Now, what we can do to how to actually solve this particular problem out. What we can do is that we can maintain a stack here. And we have this number, let's say one, four, three, two, two, one, nine. You can do a follow from left to right. So what we can do is that as I've told you, every number, if every number is in the final answer, if the previous numbers, all the previous numbers to it should have smaller precedence. This is if we have the larger number, if we go from left to right, any digit will be in the actual answer if the previous number should we have a smaller precedence. This is so if, if we have four and three, then that is bad because I can remove four. So what we can do is that we can go from left to right and check it whether this number, this digit has to be in the final answer. If it has to be in the final answer, all the previous has to be removed so that we can take out from the stack. 
and they have to be removed in the same order so what we can do is that uh, we'll push back uh, so i'll i'll show you show you how with this example this two example let's say for the first example we go from left to right uh, we'll take and check that whether there is any digit in the stack there is no so i'll first push that in the very first that is one go to the next digit that is four now if four has to be in the answer what you can say that all the digits before it has to be smaller precedence like has to be smaller than four all the digits before that has are stored in stack which are smaller which we have to be in the answer and it was only one so that is fine so i'll push back four in the answer then move to the next digit that is three for three has to be in the answer all the digits which are smaller than three in this order only has to be removed from the stack so what we can do is that we can pop out digits from the stack so four can be removed if four is removed from the stack which means that four should not be in the answer i have to remove my k as well because one digit has to be removed from the answer like from the final digits uh, so k now will become two and four has to be removed from the stack and now four has removed now the next digit is one so can one be also removed but one has smaller precedence than three so it can like fine if i remove four one three is fine okay so which means that if it is a smaller precedence than three like three like this is a smaller one then that is fine so uh, then i will push back three inside the stack so but whenever like i'll take out any element if all the numbers after this is smaller then we will pop, pop, pop out and like only put out one number the number that we have that is three now what we'll do is that then we try to push the next number that is two so can we push two for push for two to be pushed all the numbers bigger than that has to be removed in the same order uh, so three is bigger so three will be moved now one is smaller so only one is stayed in the stack so then two will be pushed after all the digits are removed the current number is pushed that is two then the, then the next number then the two is the next number so two is a number smaller than two no so two is two and fine so we'll push that two next two next one next number is one so for one to be there all the larger ones has to be removed so let's say i remove this two so now because i have removed three digits and we only have three digits so we cannot remove anything ne next so all the dates will be pushed now so we have now uh, this one and the last one that is nine so digits that we have is one two one nine and it is in the stack so we have to pop out from the stack in the same order it will pop like this nine then one then two and one and then uh, like you can like print it out in, in this manner you have to reverse it out or whatever you can do in the final thing also if it has leading zeros let's take this as an example let's say we have a stack we have one zero two zero zero we'll first push back one then for zero to be there uh push back all the numbers like less than zero has to be removed so one is less than zero so it has to be removed sorry then uh zero will be pushed back then for then uh, because i can only remove only one digit so one is removed so now that all the digits will be pushed to the stack that is two zero zero so the final number that will be formed is you can say zero two hundred but leading zeros has to be removed. So leading zeros will be removed and 200 is done of the answer. So if we have leading zeros, we have to also remove that. Okay, that's the only thing that you have to do. Nothing much complicated itself. Let's move the thing. Okay, so as you can see, leading zeros has to move itself. We have moved on the code part now. We have understood all of that. Okay, so what we have done is that we have created a stack. We have these nums. Then uh, what we have done is that we'll iterate over from left to right over the nums, these numbers from digits. And what we'll do is that if there is still some K that is left, which means that still I can remove some digit, my stack is not empty and the top is larger than C, which means that I have to remove all the digits in the stack in the same precedence that we have inserted that are larger than the current character that we have, that is C. If they have, we remove the top elements and remove our K, like move our, decrease by K by one. Okay, you can like do this as well. In the end, when after all of this is done, after removed all the digits that are larger in the same precedence uh, than the characters that we are trying to like uh, insert in the stack, we'll insert the element in the stack. Then what we have is, let's say I have forgot one more thing. Let's say that the digits are one, two, three, four, five. If we take this in the stack, all the digits before it are smaller only so let's say i'll first push two one two three four five all the things will be in the push in the stack but let's say i have k equal to three i actually have to remove three digits so in that scenario what's the best case scenario remove the bigger digits from the very back because it is increasing order and in the increasing order 
uh, like the best option is to remove the disk from the very back. That is five, four, three. So which means that if I still have any key left and we have removed and iterated over the whole num and after still that some keys left, we'll pop out the remaining key from the very top of the stack, the very back elements. The, the elements are in the reverse order on the stack. So we'll top, pop out the back elements from the stack. That is how the remaining key will be resolved. So that we have done in this file loop, as you can see here, that uh, if the stack is still not empty and we have still some K, we'll pop out the element from the stack. If after that, the stack become empty, return zero. Now, if the stack is not empty, we have some element in the stack, we'll first remove, like take out all the elements from the stack and we can like make a new array or whatever you want. I have inserted all these numbers back into the same string. Okay, now that number can also have leading zeros. So remove the leading zeros here. And the end, if, Let's say all the numbers are only leading zeros, like only zeros are left. So in the end, we have removed all those leading zeros. So it will become empty string, but we have to print out not empty string, but zero. Okay. So as you can see, this is the thing one zero. If one zero is there and we have to remove two things, then both of the things will be removed. It will become empty string, but they're not taking empty string as the answer. It will be taking zero. So if we have the empty string, which means that our n, that how many we have to remove, had come down to the very end of the string, which means that we have nothing to be printed out. It's just an empty string. Uh, then we have to return zero or else we'll take out the substring from the string that we have to print out. Okay, go through over this part. It's nothing much complicated. We have just removed out the elements. Uh, uh, like if the string becomes empty, return zero, then take out all the elements from the stack. Then after taking out the stack, removing out the leading zeros. And then if after leading the zeros, if the string is become empty, return zero in the string format or else the actual string. Okay, that's the complete logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this particular video. I'll see you in the next one. Delete coding and bye.